I was thinking there should be kind of like an arm, but with the uh, big scale drops. Oh no, that's not it. Hi guys, my name is Borodante, and welcome to Fetuses, horror game character concept design. Now, we've been through quite a few very interesting characters so far for my future horror game. So we've created one manifestation, which is like the main boss of the whole level, the main puzzle of the level, so to speak. Then we have grandma and grandpa, who are so-called witnesses that have otherworldly eyeballs looking through their eye sockets into this world so they're like possessed and they're like very special grade of uh, creatures as well they're very unusual and like big deal of an enemies but that of course would be very boring to have only that in a game and so today i want to work on the lowest and weakest level of enemies the ones that only hint at what's to come in terms of the nature of the creatures behind the witnesses and generally the nature of the whole structure of the world we're trying to discover here. And I think it's gonna be very exciting. I wanna work on four fetuses today and they can be pretty much anything at all. So I don't really have like a story for them developed right now because I felt like I should start with coming up with that on the canvas because they are much more involved in the game design and game feeling that's something you'll be see a lot more in the game than you know the witnesses or whatever uh, so they'll define the style and generally set the mood and many things and at the same time from the story perspective they're not supposed to be anything like super specific but i do know they need to be underdeveloped they need to be some kind of weak simple hints at the nature of the bigger things ahead and i was thinking to maybe use yellow terror idea as something to start from some of you guys may know if you've been following this channel for a while the yellow terror is my possessed egg painting that was i think one of the first relatively popular videos on this channel and i generally really love that painting and i thought it really fits the idea of showing some kind of fetus of a different world so it would appear like some kind of underdeveloped person that is partially an egg but the color scheme wouldn't be the our world's egg and will be something very black and creepy so yeah there is a whole lot of things to search here and this is our basic rules that we define before we start because you gotta have rules otherwise how do you start with anything at all so I have this little shot right here in Blender. That's something to start with in terms of setting up the mood, since my demo level that I'm working on right now for hopefully next year, and it will be like in this forest, so very moist and uh, covered with moss and everything. So I found this little model right here, and generally we'll be starting in Photoshop. We'll be looking for shapes uh, in this specific angle. So I'll be painting around to see what kind of shape I want to actually show up on the flat screen you know what kind of contrast and shapes we're looking for to appear and then we'll solve what kind of actual three-dimensional geometry that would be and what it would mean so I think it's a good strategy in order to make sure that your hard work in 3d actually shows up as something curated you know so yeah, this is a really cool 3D scan I found on Sketchfab and I'm really excited about it. It looks so cool. So I'll be working with many concepts in here probably. I don't think I'll be using it in the game, but maybe something like that I would build into a level because I really like this. What is this? Some kind of abandoned sewer uh, somewhere in the forest or something? And it even has a hole. How do you like that? But yeah, I found it on Sketchfab right here. A really cool website if you guys don't know it's almost like a social network of creative people and uh, it's all about sharing all kinds of 3d models some of them have a price some of them are free to download and uh, of course you always have to check what type of license it has uh, so this model has creative commons attribution which means i can do whatever i want with it including for commercial purposes but i have to make sure that land of iron gets credit for it so there you go Oh, this is a model by Land of Iron. Thank you, Land of Iron. This is a really cool scan. 
And also you guys can find the link to this uh, page in the video description. Now what I'm gonna do right now, I'll uh, hide the model of the guy. I have it here so I would know what's the, you know, the height of a human in this scale here. So I would be working with something similar. And I'll wait for a little bit of um, sampling to happen. And then I just screenshot this and put it in uh, Photoshop. So here we go, this is my setup. I just really want to make sure I feel as much of the future atmosphere, ambience of the location that I really want to have in the future game and develop all the enemies and things uh, with this in mind as much as possible. So I think just working on this kind of shot will be just about right. So as I said, I want to have like four two-dimensional designs of the fetus enemies today. And then the next episode we'll do with like 3D sketches of them to have an actual solid shapes uh, thought through on each and one of them. And yeah, as I mentioned, some rules are necessary. So uh, the whole game will have a lot of the shades of yellow as the main storytelling tool is going to be the accent. And different things will have different tones of this yellow, I guess, someone like that, it's just, um, it has to be this way. <laughs> and I'm thinking this kind of set of shades of this yellow, like kind of pale, really like not s strong, not like orange or anything, like very close to like pure yellow colors, uh, would work just right. And uh, it will probably shape some sort of an egg yolk inside of this creature. So each creature would have some kind of like this core egg white we're replacing with the egg black <laughs> and yeah something like this is gonna gonna go down so i'm gonna shut up right now for a little while and see what i can find i'm looking for some kind of close to a human body shape but mixed with the idea of the underdeveloped almost like just a broken egg kind of thing not necessarily broken maybe it was open to begin with you know but yeah we'll see what i can find So yeah, this is something I am uh, getting here. I don't know, it still looks a little bit like a sci-fi robot with those walking legs or whatever. So I definitely need to keep searching. And I, I think I need to work on the kind of um, brush strokes I'm making. I'm doing a lot of this, you know, very aggressive shape design with like all of this and that immediately gives me some kind of robot look. So maybe a bit more gentle kind of stuff because we are, after all, making a fetus. So yeah, it's really fun to search the shape from the side as well. It's a very different story now. It sort of replaces the necessity to, you know, shade a lot to show the shape. In this way, you're much more clearly defining what's going on with the shape. So that's kind of cool. And I actually decided to start doing the side view because I was thinking there should be kind of like an arm, weak arm reaching from between the fold in here. And of course, I'm gonna continue the fold all over the legs or something. So it's interesting, the shape is like very deep, but narrow in here. I think that's gonna look kind of cool. <laughs> I wonder if the arm sometimes would just hang downwards and it will look terrifying. <laughs> Probably not. The whole arm thing will probably appear very briefly, maybe as a form of attack. Yeah, I should make sure it doesn't <laughs> ask for it dangling downwards. It should be more like, like a weird arm. The elbow doesn't go downwards, it starts upwards. And we have like the strong bending. Kind of reminds me of Half-Life 1 design. <laughs> Yeah, the arm should probably be like just uh, really kind of big. Maybe uh, that would be a connection a little bit to the daddy long arms. By the way, guys, if you have any cool ideas how to call fetuses, maybe a different word, 
for fetuses, meaning we have like manifestation, and then we have witnesses, and these are like the weakest ones. I think like fetuses works perfectly well for them because they are simple, so the name should be simple. But maybe you guys have something cooler in mind. Just something to talk about in the comments. Oh yeah, this actually goes bright like this. Yeah, I think the height should be a bit lower. I'm liking this whole fold idea. I think the legs should be a little bit continuing that for a while. I feel like the yolk should be a lot more toned down. Not like this though. Some asymmetry we definitely want to see. Yeah, let's drip some egg white or some something egg black from over here. It has you guys know it has to happen. So yeah, that's something that's gonna really bring this concept to life. <laughs> I'll probably use like Niagara particle system in Unreal Engine 5 for this to look very special. I think, I, I, I don't know if you can do exactly this in there, but I think you can. Something a, not as ropey, it should be, I guess just dripping really, but with uh, big scale drops. Oh no, that's not it. I think it shouldn't be very visible on the side, but like you're seeing this deep crack from the front and that's where it really shows up. So it's like dripping in here somewhere. And I think it's cool, like only when you look at it from the front, you see the rest of the story. You know what? Uh, the whole thing about uh, reversing an elbow, let's reverse the whole thing. And this arm would be like closing to hide the yolk. Not closing, but like, you'll see the hand on the yolk. That's gonna be magnificent. Okay, I'm really liking what's going on here. This is exactly what I was hoping to get, like this kind of idea development out of just looking at what's going on <laughs> on the canvas. Now let's do the second guy. I'll put this one aside. <laughs> let's make it smaller. It's a smart object, don't worry. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Let it stay there. So this guy will probably have like the very first appearance, but who knows, maybe something else is coming. Hmm, very sus. I mean, this one is also kind of sus. Let's maybe go with like a very big yolk. Actually, you know what? This is a... Uh... This is also an important part. Maybe we start with some kind of foreshadowing in the very beginning of the story. Like it doesn't even do anything. <laughs> Maybe it's even only seen in the distance. So this kind of guy, um, more of a like a crawling kind of enemy. He's not very fast because he's literally dragging his yolk <laughs> across the ground. But yeah, those arms are gonna be a problem for John. Yeah, I think it should be, there shouldn't be like this kind of front in here. It should be, again, almost completely hidden. And yeah, we're also repeating this thing where in front is kind of thin, but on that side, that's how deep the shape of the arm is. I don't know why I'm so blown away by this idea of like thinking about the shape, but the main thing about it is not from the main side, but also like it tells a lot from that other side. And so it will be probably like with these things up in the air like this, they will be casting quite a shadow on the yolk. Kind of protecting it this way, that would be its default position when it's not crawling. And if John like hits it, it will be kind of like hiding itself somehow with a very like spastic gesture language, whatever. I kind of like the idea how this looks a little bit like 
female thighs, you know, it's all the sexual context, definitely gotta have that. In a way where the player would think that they're perverse for seeing that in here when it's not really that. I want the players to feel shame and guilt as much as possible. Good stuff. <laughs> okay, this one is, uh, this one's all right. So it's gonna be something like this. Now this time I want like a stronger, like the, the big guy, even though this is a fetus, but you know, someone who would look like they pose a bit of a bigger threat. Okay, that's a bit too conceptual, we gotta keep searching. <laughs> Okay, I like the top part, like in front we just see this giant eggshell, pretty much, it's this black heart bit. But in the back is just the palm, it doesn't extend or anything, it's just to cover the egg yolk. But the bottom part I don't like that much, like these legs, I was thinking like, like amputee kind of legs that are end at the knees. Maybe still that, but uh, we need to search the shape. And still, this should be like a more of a dangerous kind of enemy. Okay, it's starting to look cool, but I feel like I'll need to search how the shape really looks from the front and generally um, I'll need to look for it in 3D because I don't want to just fantasize about how this kind of shape would look from the front. It's not exactly correct, like the frontal view is not representing it very well, so it's best to search it when I'll have a sculpt in my hands. But yeah, from a side, this whole thing is, I think it's pretty dope. Okay, let's make the most dangerous one. I know we kind of already have four concepts and this one was is pretty much gonna be kind of like a flying one or something, very weak one probably. And this is just an installation, I guess. So far we have like a massive guy, but he's um, of a human size, height. These are kind of long things, but it's sitting on the ground. This one is totally average, maybe slightly shorter than a human. I think we need like an actual really tall guy where an egg yolk would be really high up. And so this guy will be quite melancholic, I guess and um, slow, and maybe with his limbs like dangling around slowly. But the problem with him is that his limbs can really reach you, but you can't really reach his yolk. Never thought I would say something like this. Yeah, I feel like this is making a lot of sense, like you really need to get that yolk in order to uh, defeat them. Like, I don't know, not like it's absolutely impossible to kill them if not for the yolk, but yolk is like the headshot or almost a headshot kind of situation when the black goop you can hit for a while and there will be little result, like you will be sort of punished for not thinking about what you're doing. Maybe, like, I'm not working on the, like, battle system just yet, but I'm liking the, you know, the basic idea of Egg Yolk being the main goal in the battle. Oh man, I'm, I'm painting a character that has his head tilted and now I'm just painting like this all the time. My neck hurts already. Always happens. Alright then, I guess that'll be it. 
Well, this was an unusual process. I felt very different doing this from any other painting or concepting I've ever done. Very strange. In a really cool way, because I, I feel like I really put myself into this place. And I was feeling through the, the situation. It was very interesting. Looking forward to, uh, you know, seeing what these guys actually look like in three dimensions. I love the fact that I'm going so, like, strong and simple concept. Because these are like fetuses, they're not supposed to be too specific or anything. But I wanted to introduce, like, style, you know, something that would really lay the ground for the future more complex creatures. That will be, like, true monsters, you know? Well, these are very much going to be that but so it's something like this the scale really if we look at the human here so the middle of this uh, this brick and yeah making this guy a little bit lower than that so yeah this is it tell me guys what you think looking forward to developing more specific forms and like textures the egg yolk how like it's not gonna be just round and soft and glossy you know there will be a little bit some kind of like little knots on it or some kind of like you know stuff that hangs off of an egg yolk but the horror way <laughs> so that'll be fun to search and everything but for now this is it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye Oh, it's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna be probably actually sculpting in this place as well. That'll be so, like, hipster. I don't know. <laughs>